This is my second video about Carandash ne Neocolor 2, or should I say in French, what would it be in French? Neocolor 2, something like that. What does it say? No, it doesn't say anything. Pastel à la cire aquarelle arbre. Nombreuses techniques d'utilisation sur matériaux divers. But it doesn't... Uh, well, whatever. Um, I'm downstairs right now. I'm expecting a huge package. When it comes, I will show you what it is. It is something about coloring and it is huge. I have been trying these Neo colors in painterly days and I'm going to continue trying them. But I try I started a project a couple of weeks ago that I went wrong. This this is the church, the wonderful, wonderful, beautiful church of Damuls, the Austrian town in the mountains where my husband and I go skiing every, every year. <laughs> For the last couple of years we've went skiing there. It is a very picturesque church and it looks just lovely with the mountains in the background and stuff. And it is beautifully lighted at night with a gorgeous light on it. But I was trying to make a painting with watercolor and as you can see I have not managed the skills for doing a beautiful background yet. Um, now I can tear this paper from the block and throw it away or I can use it to try something with neo color. So I thought let's let's do the Let's do that. This is my Pentel brush. Um, there are several ways of using Neo Color. Ultramarine, this is. And I'm just going to, to try things because, um, you know, this painting already is uh, gone. So I can use it for testing and trying new things. So what would happen if I put this on? And then I can immediately test my favorite watercolor paper. This is Hanemühle Quattro, Quattro, my all-time favorite paper. So let's add water to it. Let's see what happens. I even put in, um, there is even pastel, soft pastel here. Here this dark stuff is soft pastel. I even tried to save this painting with soft pastel. That didn't work either. But maybe these uh, neo colors will do the trick. You never know. And if not, no problem. No problem at all. Then we had some fun exploring this beautiful wax pastel, as they call it. So yeah, I'm in the living room right now because I don't want to miss that package. It's huge, it's a very large box. And it contains a lot of work. <laughs> so, we had a gorgeous day today, we still have. Here, yeah, this is Pastel also, soft pastel. You can move that around with water. 
Now, this is wet. Let's see what happens if we add light blue on top of it. Let's just see what happens. I already found out in Painterly Days that I really like the effect of th these Neo colors on a wet surface. Look at that. And actually, I never thought I would like these crayons until a lady from California sent me, f she sent me five. That was really nice. Yeah, we are having a great day, beautiful sunshine, <laughs> and uh, my initial plan was to be out in the garden right now, doing some work, <laughs> but I went out in the garden, and although it was very nice and sunny, um, the grounds, the soil was... Uh, completely frozen, hard as stone, so no, no, uh, no gardening today, the temperatures need to, uh, need to rise a little bit more first. Now, does this make anything look better I have no idea only thing I know is that I am uh, just enjoying myself let's try a different color how about this one jaune in French yellow what will that do add a touch of this Look at that. I really like this. This is uh, a picture of that beautiful church. This picture is made by my sister-in-law. Her Instagram account is inspired by my journey. She makes beautiful pictures. And I'm trying to uh, <laughs> to paint that beautiful church so i am using that picture as a reference and then i'll try to uh, to pull things off but this is uh, something i really need to learn more about doing uh, landscapes and buildings stuff like that i think a little more warmth might help orange just a tiny touch of orange here and then here And over here, in the first video about, um, oh, I already, see, I made a mistake here, I said something like this. In the first video about um, these Neo colors, I told you that I wasn't sure about the light fastness. I have 
now found a website of somebody who contacted Karandash about the light fastness and uh, so it is available somewhere on the internet if you Google for um, Neo Color 2 light fastness then you will for sure find that website and um, the interesting thing is that most of these Neo colors are quite light fast. This one is called Vermilion. They are rated with one, two or three stars and most of them are two or three stars. But then still, it, I'm not sure what that says. They say three stars is that it will last for a hundred years and two stars will last for 20 years well yeah well okay <laughs> but I think this these neo colors might work so well for me that I will uh, no matter what the light fastness use them anyway I really really like this so yeah you are now watching me messing around with neo color on a painting that uh, went wrong, but maybe uh, I can I can for sure learn something from it. That's for sure. So that's good. Let's get back to that orange. And I also see that my sketch is not completely accurate. But hey, who cares? I sketched it from a teeny tiny picture, so maybe that wasn't the best idea. I'll put in the orange over here as well. The, the upper part here is made of wood. And this is all plaster work, so it seems. So in winter time over here, there is a path, a ski slope. I always, I, I, I was talking about ski piste in my previous videos, but I knew that wasn't the right word. And you told me, uh, thank you for mentioning ski slope. So there's a ski slope going here. And then you take a turn here next to the tree and then you go down and here are more trees. And this is one of the most beautiful pieces of the uh, the ski slope I think skiing underneath those beautiful trees just lovely love it and when you are in Austria in this town and you are in the uh, the chairlift that is taking you up the mountain if you are there early morning or in the morning, you can see uh, the tracks in the snow of the animals. And quite often you can see um, tracks of foxes 
vermilion. That's really nice. We saw foxes once a couple of years ago. We saw one fox hunting at night. That was exciting. I'm going to put in a touch of purple. Violet, this is. There are several purplish colors, but I'm going for this one. I hope it's the right one. The only downside with these Neo Color crayons is that you cannot be very precise. I'll show you because you know it's not a sharp point, <laughs> not at all. I could uh, use a knife, I think, or something like that to turn it into a sharper point, but uh, And let's try a little bit of a brown color. Here underneath this roof, things look brown. And there is there are two windows in it, but they look even darker on the picture. So I'll make things brown first. I could even try to introduce a little bit of colored pencil to do the detail. Why not? Or ink tents. Or just watercolor paints. I could do that too. As you see, when the surface is wet, the Neo Color gives a lot more color. It releases much more pigment. Now, Let's try something else, because in the picture there is snow on top of the, uh, the tower of the church. Let's test if this is opaque. It is a little bit opaque. That is interesting. That's really interesting. And this is scarlet. Let's put that in here. Look at that. And I'm going to put a darker one in, carmine. I absolutely love this stuff. This neo color, it is, it is um, actually a little bit addictive. Love it. I'm going to put in a touch of black here. Just a touch. Now let's go. Add a touch of water. Look at that. This is really exciting. This really feels like... Uh, I like adventures. This is an adventure, guys. Now, I can uh, imagine you asking me, should I buy these? Should I buy... 
should I buy Neo Colors? Well, that depends. I'll come with a, um, I'll, I'll give you a full review once I have discovered enough about them. You know, it's just, I'm just beginning to um, use them, so I really need to find out how they work. But so far, this is so nice, nice. Really, really like this. I'm going to add a touch of blue here because I need a stronger sense of shading here. I hope this blue is uh, doing the trick. Oh, do you see what's happening? It likes it's it turns to green a little bit. Let's go for that purple. What's it? This is violet. Yeah, this is more what I had in mind. And you can see now that obviously you can also scrape into the paper, uh, into the pigment that is already there. That can be interesting too. For example, if you do animals with this, with neo color, and you want to scratch uh, fur, light hairs, into the color, like whiskers. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, it still doesn't look like a wonderful painting, but. I'm glad I, I continued this one with the Neo color because I can practice so much. I really like this. Let's try a little bit here with the trees. In the picture, this, these trees are quite dark. Prussian blue. Very dark blue. Let's just see what happens if I put this in here. I'm currently uh, starting uh, brainstorming passion for pencils. You know, the last couple of years, it it is it was such an adventure, and it still is. And I'm having a feeling that um, exciting times are ahead. You know, I always like it very much when. I have this feeling that change is coming. New things that I can explore. And I feel with passion for pencils, there are new things coming. I don't know exactly what. You no, know, I started out with passion for, for pencils as mainly a channel about coloring in coloring books. But I am now expanding, trying new things, trying... I had never thought that I would ever... I didn't even know Neo Color 2 existed when I started Passion for Pencils. So, it is, uh, it is such a nice adventure. So I will be um, brainstorming the next few months.
And I'm actually going to do a real brainstorm session next month. No, early April, that is, I believe. Now let's add a touch of this color. Let's see what happens. Wow. Prussian blue is always such a strong color. Look at that. Really interesting. I really see myself making paintings with these. There's something on my wish list. I want to make a painting that I can hang here in the in our living room. And I've been pondering almost six months about I know what I want to paint, but which medium? <laughs> I think I found the medium. I think it should be this. Absolutely amazing. You know what makes it so beautiful? Extra romantic, actually. I have a painting here that I made last year. And I made it with soft pastels and pastel pencils that I received as a gift from my husband. It's over there. I don't know if you can see it properly, but it's it's a world map on three canvases and then there is acrylic paint on it and on top of that I made this with, uh, well, as I say, soft pastels and pastel pencils. Look at those trees. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love it. Anyway, so I made that painting with... Um, a gift that I received from my husband, the pastel pencils. Now my husband took these Neo colors back from San Francisco for me. So wouldn't it be great if I made a second painting for our living room with this gift? That's very romantic, don't you think? This is really nice. Now over here, actually there should be a little bit of light in the snow. So I'm testing whether I can take off that paint. Can I remove it or not? If that is not possible, there is no problem at all. It's just great to, for testing this. Well, there is a little bit of pigment coming from the paper, but not very much. Adding a little more water to see if that helps. There it goes. No, it's not... Um, It's becoming lighter though. That's okay, no problem. That's no problem at all. I'm going to add a, a little bit of uh, the Neo color. What's this name? Yellow. Over here. Now what you see here, this is actually an orange fence. It is uh, an orange fence that goes along the ski slope to prevent you from uh, falling uh, 
down the falling down the mountain actually Prussian blue let's put that on the tree just like that yeah so I will be making new plans for Passion for Pencils and you already gave me uh, very nice advice so if you have a great tip a great idea for Passion for Pencils let me know I'm really looking forward to uh, expanding Passion for Pencils. It all goes quite slow, but I'm starting to understand that maybe that is the right way to do it. I'm not in this to gain overwhelming success, to become a famous YouTube vlogger, stuff like that, no. I do this because I love this, just a pencil on the paper brush on the paper, a neo color, wax pastel on the paper, soft pastels on the paper. It's just glorious. That's the only thing I can say. That's why I do this, because I just love, love, love it. Now, let's test something else. What happens if I take off the color from the crayon. What happens then? Now there are... That is quite strong. That is very strong. If you have been following me and my videos, then you may know, oh well, I'm going to change this a little bit, then you may know that with ink tense pencils, I always do it like this, picking up it, the color from the pencil and then putting it on the paper, because those pencils, it's not working for my hand. These crayons, however, they do work for my hand and I love putting them directly on the paper. I love it. I absolutely love this. I'm so glad I started uh, testing things here. Well, I think this little church will be continued. It's, uh, I consider this painting to be a study. so. Everything can go wrong and then if I, when I finish it I'll make another painting about this church and then hopefully I will, uh, I will know enough to uh, make, turn it into a great uh, painting. So, love this. If you want to see uh, a photograph of this church go to Instagram inspired by my journey you have to scroll down quite a bit she ha my sister-in-law she has a lot of beautiful paintings but somewhere you will find this church so enjoy uh, your own coloring and painting and uh, see you in the next video bye bye